Indian media is in a state of crisis which is not accidental or random but systematic and structural. This is what prominent fake news peddler and alleged journalist Ravish Kumar said while receiving the prestigious 2019 Ramon Magasese Award. Three years since the statement, Ravish Kumar is now saving Indian media by inciting violence through hate mongering. Hi and welcome to TFI English, the national social political analysis arm of the TFI Media Group. I'm your host Piyush and if you haven't subscribed to the TFI English channel yet, hit the subscribe button and press the bell icon to receive all the latest updates. Coming back to the story, in this video I will explain why Ravish Kumar is totally responsible for the violence that erupted due to Agnibath scheme. The government on Tuesday launched its new Agnibath scheme for recruiting soldiers across the three services. The newly introduced defense recruitment reforms will come into effect very soon. The soldiers recruited under the scheme will be referred to as Agni Veers. Under the new scheme, around 45,000 to 50,000 soldiers will be recruited annually and most will leave the service in just four years. However, the insecurity of the aspirants is wrong as at the end of the four-year period, each soldier will be getting 11.7 lakh rupees as a lump sum amount, which will be tax-free. They will also be getting a 48 lakh rupees life insurance cover for the four years. Under the Agnipat scheme, aspirants between the ages of 17.5 years and 21 years will be eligible to apply. Only a day after the scheme was unveiled by the government, the roads of India witnessed law going for a toss as many came out to express their resentment. However, the protests soon turned into violence as railway stations were blocked, vehicles were set on fire and whatnot. Reportedly, army aspirants disrupted rail and road traffic in several parts of the state, including Baksar district, blocking the onward journey of Patna bound, Jan Chetabdi Express for nearly 30 minutes. In Muzaffarpur town, a large number of army aspirants placed burning tires on the road around the Chakkar Maidan. The protests which started in Bihar have now spread to Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. Remember the farm laws? Despite the revolutionary laws offering the best possible solutions to the farmers, they kept protesting against the government for two years. All thanks to the Liberals and opposition for feeding them with fake news that led them to misinterpret the laws completely. Similarly, the aspirants who are protesting against the scheme have no idea what it has to offer to them but want the government to take the scheme back. The aspirants said that they are unhappy with the changes introduced under the new recruitment scheme for the Indian Army, particularly the length of the service. No pension provisions for those released early and 17.5 to 21 age restriction that now makes many of them ineligible. So who is responsible for the violence? It is Ravish Kumar, the journalist who exactly knows how to throw the nation under the bus by spreading false news and hate mongering. The so-called journalist Considering it an opportunity, soon took to his social media handle and attempted to fuel protests and violence. In his Facebook post, he urged the people not to oppose the scheme and sarcastically said that jobs are not the big deal at the moment but the religion. Today, the effects are clearly visible. Protests can be seen growing nationwide and violence has begun. What unfolds in the future is yet to be seen. But the likes of Ravish Kumar should be taught a lesson to prevent further chaos in the country.